I really wanted to explore essentially, you know, the toxic effects that the patriarchy has on women and men alike. The play charts um, a romantic relationship between a man and a woman over the course of eight years. We meet them on their first date and we see the ways in which they influence each other in some ways for the better, in many ways quite harmfully, as we also chart Donald Trump's rise in power and explore the corrosive effects of toxic masculinity in this you know, microcosmic example and also on a much larger level on the plane of this country and this world as a whole. So I just found that I had spent years and years just watching myself and other women who I knew continually sign up for our own subjugation. And it was a phenomenon that I found at once kind of bleakly hilarious and devastating <laughs> um, and confounding. And I still don't totally understand it. I'm hoping to sort of provoke that kind of identification in women and in men alike um, and really asking questions at the very least that cause us to um, examine our own roles and our own subjugation and in the ways that we unintentionally victimize other people and hurt each other and ourselves in so doing and hopefully provoke um, exploration of ways that we can break free from these destructive patterns. Well, I get quite emotional talking about doing this play at Playwrights Horizons. I have to say, you know, being in the rehearsal room for this play is a literal dream. And Tripp is, is one of the loves of my life and it's I learned so much from him and just delight in his presence. The day that I walked into the rehearsal room on the fifth floor to have auditions, I almost burst into tears because I started off as an actor. And so... Today, I'm on that side of the table and I get to like A, make those decisions and then B, act in something. And it's truly a culmination of both of those dreams of mine. I just can't stop thinking about this play, dreaming about this play. I go to sleep running the lines. I wake up in the middle of the night with ideas, you know, like it's hitting me from all sides, creatively, energetically, spiritually. It's just a really beautiful experience and something that I, I really needed at this point uh, in ways that I didn't quite understand. So I'm, I'm really having a beautiful time here.